Hello, hello. Welcome. Sorry for the delay. I'm trying to get the PS4 going. How's it going, everybody? Welcome. Welcome to the shoe. My name is Mark. We're going to be streaming a little No Man's Sky. I can get my mic in a place where I like it. Yes. I had a big debate with people about microphones today. I have a different microphone than pretty much any streamer I've seen because everyone opts for the blue Yeti. Which is this guy. And I haven't opted for that one. I'm going I go with this guy instead. And it looks kind of funky. Hey Jose, how's it going? I cost you money today. How did I cost you money? Oh, quantum break. <laughs> did you take the plunge? Did you go into quantum break? Oh my god. I haven't had a soda in a long time. It's uh kind of tripping me out a little bit. Right. Let's get into it with No Man's Sky. Whoa, there we go. Now you know you can get first party Xbox exclusive on Windows 10. Yes, yes. That is the new way forward with Xbox Play Anywhere. Hey, CPG, how's it going? How is it going? All right. Playing a little No Man's Sky. Can't see chat on your phone. That That is unfortunate. What's going on with that? So I was having some kind of weird issue earlier with, with my live streaming because I'm subjected to lots and lots of weird betas working on, on YouTube gaming and sometimes I'm in betas that probably aren't so healthy for my for my streaming or my channel. But you gotta test these things so that you know if they're gonna work when we roll them out to everyone else. So we take the hit. So everyone is streaming No Man's Sky. It's pretty much the game to stream right now. But I think it's amazing. Uh, let's see. Wow. Sell items. I don't think, I can't remember the place I left myself last night. I was getting up to a lot. I think we're in good shape, though. I think I can just jump in the ship and get the F out of here. Hey, Chaz. Hey, how's it going? Oh, no worries, man. Thanks for stopping by to say hi. I would never want to stop anyone from going to bed. Especially when the lady friend is involved. <laughs> I like an autocorrect that corrects to the more sophisticated version. Oh, really? Oh, really? Really, that's not good. That's not good at all. Mm. So we've got, we've got goals. We've got goals tonight. So let's see. We're in decent shape. We got, we got a, a fully stacked hyperdrive. Looking real good. Lots of warp cores. Got a, we got plenty of pulse and thrust, and we can basically go anywhere we want to go right now and so what we're doing there's two things one i've been following the kind of quest that it gives you the quests that it continually gives you but i've also been let's get out into space so i can show you what else i've been doing all right so we're in this system we haven't really discovered anything in this system yet so we'll probably take a little time to land on a couple of these planets here and discover them, see what's up with them. Plus, I told someone I'd name a planet after them tonight, and they had a name that they wanted me to tack on for a moon as well. So this is a perfect star system to do it. Let's take a look. So, I'm going to our hyperdrive. There's a few paths it wants you to follow. So there's the path to the center of the universe, which we're all, you know, supposed to follow. And then there's the path to the atlas was another path that it gives you to follow where you go to these atlas stations which is where I am now but you can also set your own waypoint and so I scanned the other night for the nearest discovery 
by another person. And I set a waypoint to go there. Let's make sure our waypoint is still... Let's see if we can navigate to it all the way to the Malone Cluster. And so the Malone Cluster is something I found that has actually been discovered by another player. So this player's name is Jupiter Kitten. They're on PlayStation Network, obviously. And they discovered the Malone Cluster. And it's actually sort of near me. And it's got five planets. It's 310 light years away. And so we're going to go to the Malone Cluster. Because we are going to find ourselves a system that was actually discovered by someone else. Because that is pretty exciting. Oops. Uh-oh. This rock doesn't seem to want to move. There we go. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, my goodness. So let's, let's check out this planet down here first before we leave the system. We don't want to just totally blast blast out of this system without at least checking it out. So let's discover this planet. But then we're going to, you know, we want to get we want to get to this get to this Malone cluster. See if we can see some discoveries and some findings of another player. I guess it's not as uncommon as people were originally thinking to find stuff that other players discovered because there's so many people. But nevertheless, still unlikely. The only one I've seen and not not all that close to me. So I want to check it out. All right, what do we got in here? What's what's going on on this planet? All right. You got just go straight to the first question mark I see. How's everybody doing tonight? How is everybody doing tonight? I landed kind of far away. Not a, oh, starting points are not 100% random. Okay, so the weather on this planet is volatile. We have already found. Yeah, so I think that's the case. They don't want people to accidentally spawn at the center of the universe. <laughs> um, it feels like also everyone's starting locations have some things in common. Organizing the Steam library. Clock on my PS4 is right. Yeah. It's because it's brand new. Yeah. <laughs> or it's not brand new. My PS4 is actually kind of problematic for me right now because I bought it on eBay for like way less than it should have cost and the disk drive is jank and it actually I had to reboot it because it couldn't start the game a few minutes ago I think it like overheats probably needs to be cleaned out it's not long for this world it's a good stopgap to get me to the Neo I thought for sure I would never buy a Playstation and so I couldn't bring myself to buy a new one Do, 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 do. I can't find these atlas passes either. Yeah, at least the clock's right. Uh, it's all getting real janky and and weird on me, but the clock is right. All right. What can we find? Ooh, it is hot in my living room too. It is way too hot. See, I don't live in the cool part of the Bay Area in San Francisco. I live in the hot part. That's way less cool. It's less cool both in cool and in cool, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This planet seems pretty normal. Some of these planets are friggin' weird. Yeah, you, you can get a PS4. See, that's my whole theory, is that Microsoft is just turning the PlayStation into an island. It'll be like, if you're an Xbox gamer, you're an Xbox gamer, whether you're on PC or Xbox One. All right, let's... This stuff is what we want. This is the good stuff. We got some, but we want more. 
So let's fuel up the mining beam. Uh-oh. I don't have any isotopes. That's not good. All right. Let's fuel up the isotopes. We'll head to this thing. I need to get a new... I need to start, like, a chair fund. On my back, like, this chair I sit in, it just kills me. I read a review of this game where they declared, No Man's Sky does not give a shit about your time. And it is 100% true. This game does not have any qualms with just making you wait a really long time or walk really far or spend forever working on something really mundane. But we're in good shape. I did a lot of the groundwork last night. Oxide. We need, we need like plutonium though. We don't need like iron. This game is almost too chill sometimes. This has been good. This is my, I'm settling in. This is my breakup game. I'm just gonna devote unhealthy, obsessive amounts of time to playing No Man's Sky. I'm not sure what kind of character I am yet. I'm not sure if I'm a traitor or a like a trucker. <laughs> Ooh, impact damage, Sigma. Yeah, thanks, CPG. Yeah. Yeah. Womp womp. But hey. More time for video games, I suppose. All the video games. Yeah, I could be a trucker. See, if I get the, if I'm the trucker, and I'm like space trucker, and I get to wear the hat, I could bring back my trucker hats from when I would stream ATS, and then that's just a good time. Let's see if we can refuel that mining beam. There we go. Hard to mine. Charge equipment with isotope elements. So any isotope element? All right. That's what we want. There's an isotope element. Oh, I totally have. I totally have multiple trucker hats. <laughs> it's important. I mean, I'm from the south. We're big on trucker hats down there. Plutonium. Oh, I love that. Oh, man. Trophies and milestones. Oh, boy. Hey, what's up, buddy? There is nothing going on here. I don't even know what you're looking for. Ah! Excuse me. So, sentinels are a great source of um, whatever it is they're made of. Titanium, I think. If you're short on titanium, just do something that will attract the attention of a sentinel and then destroy it once it arrives. 707 LS alert. <laughs> Why? Why did you get that phone number? And should I call it? Uh, life support is charged up with plutonium. Oh, we're going to need um, zinc or titanium, too. Do I have, I have one free slot. Inventory management is a huge fucking issue in this game, man. Drives me crazy. Drives me crazy.
What is this giant green thing off in the distance? Looks like something I should probably mine. See, I like these planets where you can just cruise around on foot. Because the weather ain't, ain't so bad. I mean, we're, we're getting a little radioactive. My notification not go out? My stream was behaving very oddly. Something is definitely wrong. I had to plug manual RTMP settings into XSplit. Everyone's a little radioactive. Everyone. Do 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 do. What is that? Analyzing. I don't name anything. I need to name stuff. Ooh, I love this stuff. See, I think I'm a space miner because I just get super hot and bothered. YouTube GCM problem? Well, that doesn't surprise me. I get like all worked up and excited when I see one of these giant pockets of mineral especially if it's a mineral that like you just it's like a trading mineral I think I'm like a small town miner you keep your De Beers I'll, I'll bring you your minerals and when you buy from me you know I mined it myself on some crazy radioactive planet problem with radiation is I don't think you can just make a hole in the ground and hide from it like you can with like acid rain you're basically just screwed so oh interesting I probably would go to a voicemail box though right do you have to answer that phone hey 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 Quit scanning me. It's fine. Everything's fine. This was like this when I got here, man. Get the fuck out of here. That's right. All right. Back to business. Back to business. <laughs> I don't play I don't play Minecraft, man. I play cool games like No Man's Sky. Where you collect Building material. Oh man. Oh man. I can't. I can't get behind. I just don't think this is very exciting to watch. <laughs> I expect to get a phone call on it. Don't worry, I'll call you. At some weird time, be like, I'm calling to see if I can get my live stream account's account deleted. Uh, we should probably put on, uh, we should recharge that radiation protection. We need more zinc. <laughs> yeah, Jose, he just said it goes to his cell phone. Unless you want to talk to CVG, which is, you know, it's fine. Ah! All right. I think we're good. I think we've... I mean, there's plenty more... There's plenty more value I could extract out of this planet, but I'm getting antsy. Although... Moving to Twitch alerts. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're only accepting questions about privacy today. I showed someone at work live stream alerts today, and they were like, what? This is crazy. Oh, 
about my mining beam. See, what I have to do is work out the cost of mining. Because then I have to recharge my uh, my mining beam. Although I guess carbon's super easy to come by. Um, I don't know if you know Warren. But if you know Warren, it was Warren. He replies to threads with gifts. Oh, wow. Hey, I'm one of those. I'm using it right now, I think. It's one of those things I just don't really worry about. Yeah, everybody runs into everyone inside bugs. Bugs for days. All right. Spiffy Mark Trucking Company. No, Spiffy Mark Mining Company. Oh God! Oh God! Storm. Uh, okay, we need uh, we need a hole to get into real quick. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can. Is it is it budging? Oh, no, no. I just need to get out of the storm. There we go. <sighs> See, you just get your grenades out, and you just start. Wait, I have live stream alerts open. I am looking at it in my exploit right now. Let's wait out this storm together. I accidentally closed my web browser. Oh, that was stupid. Live stream alerts. How's that storm looking, boys? See, it's real easy to just get in out of the cold if you just have some grenades and make a hole in the ground. Same way I survive in real life, man. Grenades, hole in the ground. No problem. Test. Testing. Hey, there it goes. Boop. Testing. There it is. Yeah. Nice and testy. When's this storm gonna end? Ah, it's storming still. Go into the hole. Stay in the hole. I appreciate that the mic sounds good. See, I like to think this setup sounds good. I don't have fan funding configured. So, see, something's totally wrong with my channel. Because I definitely have fan funding configured. And that's a bummer. Let's go to YouTube.com slash features. Fan funding enabled. The fan funding feature is enabled. View agreement. <gasps> Yay! We can go back out now. I'll wait for extreme night temperatures. Nope, we're good. All right. We did it, everybody. What's that over there? Oh, depot. We don't want that. Oh, there's our ship. Anything else we want to mine? Oh, man. Am I gonna, I'm about to get attacked by a... By an animal. This boy is not from chat. Oh man. What's with that? Where I chill. <laughs> Don't be terrible. Odin Swamp. Ooh, there looks like a suit upgrade down there. Jump! Is something following me? Or is this... Oh, oh God. 
Oh my goodness. Ah, gross. I don't want to look at it. Ugh. Ah, get away! Jesus, why won't you die? <sighs> can I still analyze what it was? <laughs> oh, right, I can discover... <laughs> I can discover volatile carnivores even after they're dead. All right, now what the heck is this thing? Oh god, this planet's weird. Something really is wrong with my channel. Oh, shocking. Uh, I had to kill him. He was attacking me. I won't tolerate that behind, that that kind of nonsense. I won't kill this guy, though, because he's amenable, and his gender is listed as rational, which is fascinating. I don't think I've come across a single creature that's had, like, male or female. It's very complicated in the world of No Man's Sky, I and mean, it's very complicated in the real world, too. Oh, my God. They're really taking us to the cleaners on these inventory slots. 30,000 units. They know we need them. Rational engineer, I don't know. It's quite complicated. It's quite complicated. I'm waiting for a sentinel to come gank my ass for killing that butt crab. I think we're good. Oh no, he seems cool with it. He's totally cool with it. Uh, but he'll probably freak out when I start mining plutonium. Ah! Ah! See, I told you! Now I'm mining whatever you're made of, you jerk. You jerk! Back to back to work. Oh crap! I I totally blew it with that gold. I wish it would warn you you didn't have any inventory slots before you start mining. You know I'm not finding that the Sentinel Force on this planet is as chill as advertised. Everything needs to just. Relax. They don't want so apparently they don't want you tampering with the ecosystem on the planet. Ah, oh, blew with the gold again. Mm. I'm looking for some backstory on the Sentinels. I'm hoping that at some point they explain what the deal is with the Sentinels. It's getting kind of dark in here, huh? <laughs> Ooh, I see a giant massive. Something to mine. Although that's a pretty common mineral. We don't want that. We need to focus. We can't just strip mine this planet. We gotta get moving. We gotta get into space. We're gonna find this one last thing and we're gonna get up into space. It starts to get costly to run a mining operation. I'm gonna constantly recharge my radiation stuff and recharge the beam. People got no respect for the plight of the small businessman in this universe. Probably should have taken my ship on this little journey. It really, 
uh, the whole inventory management thing really f forces you to focus on kind of what you're currently looking for. It is a tough space life. See, this guy gets it. What we got here? Analyze it. Hey, finish analyzing it. There we go. It's hard not. Mostly dehydrated food. Yeah, you don't really have to eat. You never see this guy eat or go to the bathroom. I assume he's doing it. Maybe on his ship. Or in the hole. Make a little potty hole. See? You just can't, can't keep a charge on anything around here. Let's go in here. I was afraid I'm gonna walk in on someone doing something crazy when I walk into these buildings. Where's the door? Oh, here it is. Ooh, what's this? What's this? Ooh, free shield. Yeah, but I would have rather had anything else. Did I build those? I built nothing. Hello. Hello, girl hack. Welcome to No Man's Sky. Yeah, you can't build stuff in this game. Unfortunately. Not yet. They said that's coming. Let's craft a bypass chip. Let's see if we can find something real cool to make this planet worthwhile. Caves in the ground. There is nothing wrong with caves in the ground, though. Let's find the monolith. Learn some more alien language. All right, well, while we monolith, I'm going to turn the lights on in here. Yes, monkeys. Can you hear my fan? Let me know if you can hear my fan. I'm hoping the mic is better than that. All right, so we're 17 minutes away. So there's a good article on Polygon that makes the case for how this game is actually better if some of the mechanics are spoiled for you. Because the tutorial... Oh, perfect. Oh, that's great. Good, because it was getting warm in here. Oh. Bad news, fam. <laughs> We're super far from the ship. Oh, why did we get so far? How much they fail at actually reading what is on the screen. Ah, ooh, ooh, what is that thing? Please don't be a predator. It's like a squid -ifant. Temperament, unconcerned, gender, exotic. Yeah, all the times are real, which is frustrating. Juvenile, unknown, unconcerned. My favorite, my favorite, unconcerned. All right, so everyone, everyone in this field gets to live. Nobody dies today. How did you know inventory is full? Streamers, man, you know, streamers with big audiences, they got they got a lot to worry about. Look at this guy, look how much fun he's having. He's playing with his kid. Oh, squid elephant. Oh, you. I love you, squid elephant. We're gonna name you squid elephant. This is the one. Squid event. And then Squid event Junior. There we go. I'm gonna say this we can just Does anyone wanna name this crazy multi eyed 
mushroom thing. It's kind of freaking me out. I don't really want to look at it. I certainly don't want to name it. Because uh, I'm going to see it in my nightmares. And I don't want to bring it that much more to life. But if someone wants to name it, here's your chance. Zombie Toad. Zombie Toad it is. So you don't have to name stuff. I'm guessing PC players will be a lot more prone to name stuff because you can just bang something out on the keyboard real quick. Whereas I have to use this dumb touchpad. So if I hold down square, I can just upload it with whatever the name is that it generated. Uh, let's see, which is what I usually do with most of the animals and most of the waypoints. But we're going to name the planet. It's important to name the planet. Let's see. What do we want to name the planet? Hmm. Its current name is... I can plug a keyboard into the PS4, yes. It It's weird. My setup would be a little strange. I was thinking about... See, I wanted to do a KVM, but then I need to be able to type on the PC, so I would need a separate keyboard. What I'm thinking about is a Bluetooth keyboard that I can have on the edge of the desk just for the PS4. I have a Logitech Bluetooth keyboard that has, it's one of those ones with like two year battery life. So that'd be cool. All right. Let's focus up. We're gonna name this planet. Um. What should we call it? Oh, wait. I got to call it... Uh, I promised out the first name. I got to call it... Uh, Beardy. Well, we'll call it something spaces. Something like Beardy 1. Something more space-ish. Oh, no. We'll call it... Yeah, we'll call it Beardy 1. Which means we need to call the system Beardy. There we go. Yeah, I promised that one to Mr. Stu Grubbs. All right. Notice this. You've lost connection to online services. Get used to seeing that. But luckily, it doesn't matter. Oh, man, they're having so much fun. Now I'm kind of scared, though. Please leave me alone, Squidifant. You still kind of bother me. Oh, God, why is he so much faster than me? Why is there no way to move faster than the Squidifant? Exhausted. Free Squidifant. Oh, feed him. Feed Squidifant. What's he eat? The problem is when you see what they eat, it's also what they give you if you kill one of them. And sometimes it's something that you're really in desperate need of. Ah, but see, the Sentinel's watching. So... Oh my god. It does not want me to feed this thing. It does not appear to have a mouth. Uh, so we're going to get the hell out of here before it consumes us with whatever it has instead. Let's recharge our life support for the long journey back. Not on meds mix. I was wrong. Yeah. No Vive support for No Man's Sky, or PSVR support for that matter. Although I think it will get the former. You're not mods anymore. What the hell is going on? It says you're mods in my mod list. Something is definitely wrong. Radiation protection. So... 
I won't describe the problem that my channel was having before I went live, but I had I freaked out about it and sent Barbara uh, an IM and she assured me that it was fine. <laughs> no, all the planets do not have radiation. The planets are pretty wildly different, actually. You can tell there's definitely certain themes that it picks from, but it generates a whole mishmash of different variables and kind of throws it all together on one planet. There was one the other night, or last night. Oh, man, see? These storms. Some of these, some of these planets are really prone to storms. Oh, boy. Oh, I can't make a hole. Oh, we're screwed. There's no caves. I haven't seen a single cave. Oh, my gosh. Uh, okay, this is a perfect spot to hide, but we're going to need to work fast here. A little zinc in the old thingy. Recharge the gun. Whew. In from the rain. This is not the best spot. Because I'm not quite out of the... There we go. Doing a lot of survivaling in this, on this planet. So, so, so like last night, I landed on a planet that was just perfect. So it, it was temperate climate, no, no radiation or anything. Just, it was just like a little warm and it was really abundant with minerals and there were no hostile animals that I encountered. It was just the best planet I named it Eden. So it was just the greatest planet ever. And then conversely, I left that planet and went to a different planet in that system. And it was the most like horrific hellscape ever. The sentinels were listed as frenzied. They would just attack you for no reason. And it was, con it was super harsh, constant radiation storms and freezing. And the whole planet was mostly water. And so all the bases were underwater. And so you had to swim in this freezing cold. It was just the worst planet ever. And so it, I was like, I got to get the hell out of here. It didn't matter. It was covered. The surface was covered in like really expensive, rare minerals. But it was like I would die trying to pull them up out of the ground and use all my resources trying to keep myself alive. So it's like the planets are definitely their own beasts, which is cool. And you got to really weigh... Ratio of undiscovered planets, things versus discovered, venturing or trailing. I don't understand. Venturing or trailing. <laughs> am I am I doing better or worse than other players? I have no idea. I'm purposely not reading anything about the game anymore. But one of our goals tonight that I keep losing track of is we're trying to warp to a system that is 500 light years from us that has actually been discovered by another player, the Malone Cluster. And we're going to get there and see what Jupiter Kitty, who is the PSN user who discovered that system, has named some things. Are you landing on planets already named? Oh, no, I haven't found anything. I haven't found anything that's been named yet, but I've, I've got a hot tip. I found something yesterday on the on the galactic map and I've been slowly working my way there. Life support power. We're going to try and get back to the ship without recharging our life support or anything. Oh, what is that thing? Oh my god, it's the it's that glove. The what brand is that? What food brand is that? The hum hamburger helper glove. I have been running with R3. That thing in the bottom right corner is the winded indicator. And so when it hits zero, I have to wait. Hmm. 
Let's see, it goes red and then it goes back up and you can start running again. Oh, yeah. I jetpack a lot because it just feels so right. Oh, man, I did a shit job parking that starship. Kev, man, what's up? The adventure begins. We're going to cruise. We're going to get in the ship. We're never going to let ourselves get this far from the ship again. Our precious, precious ship. Then we're going to cruise over to that monolith. And then we're going to get the hell out of here. We're going to go discover that moon real quick. Oh, yeah. So the reason I like the planets with these these uh, mineral deposits on them is you can see them from the air, which is great. Ooh, there was a cave. All right. Off to the monolith with us. You can't see a lot of stuff from the air. But you can see those from there. Ooh, there's this little... I gotta focus. We're going to the monolith. Can't just land at every random little building I see. I would very much like to. There's the monolith. I love it. I, there's, I read a great description of it that I totally agree with, which was... Every night when you put it down, you think, I've probably had my fill of that game forever. And then you wake up thinking, I can't wait to play No Man's Sky. <laughs> Destination reached. Oh yeah, Knowledge Stone. You have learned the Corvax word for call. So you learn all these words, and then when you talk to aliens, you can kind of better understand what they want from you. Is that another knowledge stone, or is that the one I just used? No, nope, that's another one. Corvax word for traveler. Probability. I already did this one? Yeah, I already did this one. Alright, so now let's do the monolith part. Hashtag knowledge. Let's get a hashtag knowledge in the chat. Knowledge is dope. I feel faint. As if my mind is being invaded. Oh, they must be big because I've discovered a lot of words and I, I rarely know anything when I'm talking to people. Metal spiders, perhaps sentinels, run up my shoulder and into my visor. Can this be real? This cannot be real! I start to scream. Remove helmet and scrape away tiny metal spiders. Fire weapon. Wait it out. All right. We got to make a choice here. Unfortunately, this is not Telltale Batman, so you'll have to just tell me what we should do. Wait it out. I feel like if I take my helmet off, things are going to go real south on me. I should also not fire my weapon because... Bullets are precious. All right, we're gonna wait it out. Oop. Ah, the hallucination fades. Perfect. Take it off. <laughs> Star Trek Airworms. Standing with the Corvax has increased. What was my reward? Oh, Corvax casing. That's good. Super neat. Now I take the plutonium. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 hey, no trouble here, officer. I'm not too worried about where that plutonium went. I'm just gonna cruise on over to my ship. Where'd I put that? I don't... Hey, what's up, Steel? It is going well. Just running... Just running from the popo. Running from the lawman. The robotic lawman. Alright, let's get the F off this planet. We got moons to check out. 
Ooh, but there's another little question mark thing right there. What is it? Oh, let's check it out real quick. Just real quick. We're already so close. Wait, no. Never mind. Don't land. I forget that it costs us money to take off. <laughs> costs us precious resources. Can't keep landing and taking back off. So that's the thing that really you also have to weigh when you're like, am I going to fly around everywhere? Whoops. Or drive everywhere. How did I let that happen? Is that it costs resources to take off every time. Into space with us! All right, where's that moon? Let's find that moon. Let's find that moon. Do a little mining real quick. Yeah, that was a total hashtag fail launch. I don't know what the ha I just looking at chat and I got carried away. You can't crash though, which is probably both good and bad. Where's that damn moon? Am I too close to the planet? I can't see it. How far in? Ah. Oh wait, is that it? I don't think that's it. Oh no, that is it. Moon of Beardy One. To the moon! Little Beardy! Uh, probably like 10 hours, eight hours, eight, maybe not even. I've been playing it a lot this week. I've suddenly found myself with a lot of free time and not a lot of motivation to live my life. So I just, rather than wallow in my own sadness, I cruise the universe looking for trouble. Although I am pretty bad at ship-to-ship -ship combat. So I don't actually enjoy it when I find trouble. Let's go to this light that's coming out of the ground up here. No way of knowing how far away that is. Probably not. Moon and Knights unite. Lock in. Oh, won't you please save us from all of the money? Here we go. Gas clouds. No sentinels, which is good. No flora, because it's a moon. We got ourselves a little suit upgrade, it looks like. Suit upgrade. Oh, extra slots. 40,000. Jeez. <sighs> there are not different levels of gravity, I don't think. Because I think your suit is supposedly, oh my goodness, is supposedly balancing that out. Whoa. Whoa. Gender alpha. Did I miss a sub? It doesn't make a noise. Hashtag Blucifer sub. What? If only it made a noise. Why didn't it make a noise? Um, I need like a f sub feed. Someone make that product. Or like a latest sub. You could make it make a noise. It's supposed to make a noise. It just doesn't. Um, it used to make a noise. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh. Is this sub feed in live stream alerts? It's in the recents page? Oh my gosh. You and your live stream alerts. Where, uh, where? Where's, I don't even have a reasons page. Ugh, man. I don't, am I on an old version? Slash lists. Page not found. Bro. Wish we had fish that flew in the air on earth. <laughs> Ah, I'm terrified that one of them is, like, going to go rogue and kill me. 
but we're good so far. Ooh, platinum. Ooh. This planet has platinum. Oh, and it has plutonium. Hey, 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 hey. Flying shark. We do not want flying shark. Flying shark, very bad. I need zinc. No, no, no. Inventory can't be full. Plenty of room on the starship. Mm hmm. Hey, hey. You said that it said there were practically no sentinels here. Get out of here with your m making a fool out of the search for lists on the homepage. Oh. Zero configured lists. <gasps> oh, there it is. Who are Sentinels? Sentinels are like the galactic protection peeps. Hey, 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 hey. It's fine. It's fine. You are fine with it. Get that fuck out of here. What you doing? Making me pull my gun every five seconds. Let's see what's over here. They're not generic. I don't know their backstory. I hope that they tell their backstory at some point in this game. But really, it just seems like anytime you're doing anything on a planet that you shouldn't be doing, they will come and they think you shouldn't be like disturbing the ecosystem of the planet is what they seem to think. Like when you start mining or if you kill something, they'll swoop in and scan it. And then if they don't like it, then they'll start roaming around looking for who did it. And then you have to make the call whether or not you're gonna. I need a bigger starship. Yeah, they're the Prime Directive Police. Hold ground to this into existence. Yeah, it's super weird. Apparently this game had a really bad pop-in problem. And they have tried to resolve it by having it fade in. I'm hoping they do a little more optimization. Or maybe it won't be as bad on the PC version. But there's a custom engine, so... Nah. Whatever. It's very strange. Ooh, new technology. I love it. Photon cannon fires at an increased rate. Do, 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 do. Yeah, some high-profile PC games have had rough launches lately. I'm hoping this extra time they've taken is actually extra time they need and not, hey... Sony quietly asked us to give them a multi-day head start so that they could sell more copies. So I know plenty of people that were going to buy it on Steam when it came out, and then after the first few streams from PS4 hit, they were like, F it, I'm buying it on PS4 because I need it. I'm like, people are super impatient. <laughs> I got a PS4 just to play it because I'm like, I don't know how long for this world my PC is. Oh, jeez, no! Oh, what have you done? Let me catalog you before I murder you in cold blood. Back off. Back off. No! Oh, you... Bastard. All right. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll leave the planet now. You cannot take species off planet. You can just take their lives. My God, I hope you can't mate them. Okay. Luna for Grace. <laughs> uh, dang.
Space. Goat. And the name is Little Beardy. So I'm glad that his gender is dead. Dead as dead as fuck. So Dang Space Goat was a dangerous alpha carnivore. And what have we learned? Don't even don't even give him the chance. Let's get the hell off this rock. We gotta keep moving. We don't have time to 100% these planets. Although you get fat stacks if you 100% discover everything on a planet. It tells you right out of the gate too. It'll be like 225,000. Like, whoa. Ooh, look at that cave down there. Look at that. Whoa. We would We would probably have trouble getting back up. <laughs> Let's just... Let's proceed. We need to hyper, hyper jump out of here. Technology Explore the cave. No, we're so behind schedule. Every time I don't hundred percent a planet, I talk myself. I am currently using live stream alerts. Oh, good. <laughs> live stream alerts confirmed. All right. We're going to go down into the cave. Although, we've definitely confirmed that there are things on this planet that want to kill us. This cave could be chock full of them. Is there fall damage? Oh, yes. There is gnarly fall damage. So, but you can use your jetpack to slow your descent. So I'll usually just jump off a cliff and then catch myself right before I land with the jetpack. You see, here's the problem. I don't know how to get the hell out of this cave. Well, I think we can proceed this way if we move this out of the way. Yeah, we can. I was trapped in a cave yesterday. And I was able to tunnel my way back to the surface right under my ship, which was amazing. What we got here? Plutonium. Aluminum? Is that what that said? Ooh, aluminum. Ah, oh, bro. No free slots. Huh? All right. This is just we don't need this. We always need plutonium. All right, we should get the hell out of here before something really weird happens to us. Playing this game with headphones on, you hear all the weird Creatures crawling around. See, people complain that the graphics look bad in this game, but I think they're great. The lighting especially. All right, we're still heading sort of towards the ship. So, yeah, you'll hear the music when we do... It's very atmospheric right now. You sometimes find humanoids. Well, humanoids is in there bipedal and have arms and faces and stuff, but they're all aliens. And we have no idea what race we are either. You can't ever see yourself. Where's my ship? Ship. All right, we're going this way.
We're gonna get up there. Yeah, I think that's fair. It took them five years to make this game, apparently. Oh my god. How deep underground are we? Oh, come on. <laughs> And this is why you worry about caves. Uh, plasma launcher. A little plutonium in there. Man, the Sentinels would be pissed as fuck right now. Hey, we're out. Whoa, whoa. All right. <laughs> it's all right. Those are the easiest resources to come by. Plutonium is everywhere. And see, that cave paid for itself because it was filled with plutonium. Thamium 9 is the same way. Yeah, God, sometimes you come out and you're just like, oh, what is that? Oh, my goodness. Docile. Ooh. Wow. Oh, what is this thing? Oh my gosh, there's so much. This is all on that. This is all on the moon. This is great. Oh, never mind. It's becoming less great. Couldn't the storm have happened while we were still in the cave? We'll go back and admire, <laughs> admire it. Hold R to admire. All right, let's hide out in here. How much is this little thing going to cost us? Can I not get it? I think I'm, I think I'm maxed out on suit upgrades. Well, let me get one. Some super Eastern European language to be trolly. <laughs> yeah, it's never, you're never outside and you're like, oh, good, it's raining. And then it, it's always like a horror show. Could be, could be the one I already got. Could be, could be. Let's see. Um, let's say, we'll do that and we'll say open and we'll put that. Oh man, see girl hack, you need to, you need to keep delivering that. I, I need that. Maybe I should name all my planets in the next system in Hungarian. How do I... Other... What page URL? Uh, it doesn't look very good. Can I change the font on this? Uh, Mr. Mr. Chris? As I set up live stream alerts while I wait for the storm to die down? Oh, font, font color. There we go. Oh, the storm cleared. I got to stop working on this. <laughs> font size. There we go. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to put that. I tried to edit that thank you out because it looks silly. Looks looks good now. I got a little newest sub thing going. Looks real good. Real good, you guys. 
Put it right there under that. I'll build some kind of frame for that later. It's so good. Okay. Let's move on. Storm cleared. Health restorative. Restorative. Inventory full. Live Streamer Lights has all the features I need. It does. It actually really does. <laughs> I didn't realize it did all that. Yeah, <laughs> what gave it away? <laughs> Let's get out of here. Hey, what's up, Chris? Welcome to welcome to No Man's Sky. We are cruising on out of here. All up into space like a motherfucker. Subscribe to Mark. Whoa! With those files on disk, I might do that as well. Oops! Oh gosh. See now, now it's driving me crazy. There we go. I like that. That's how Dojo does his latest sponsor, Big D. Oh man, giving away all the secrets. All right, we're gonna continue with our journey towards a player discovered system. So we're gonna leave Beardy and we're gonna proceed to Yas Yasokol Charovok. Yes, Yasok Yasokol Charovok. Oh, girl hack, no, I need you to come up with Hungarian names for the systems. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go to the next system, then we'll sell some stuff. And off we go. Yeah, good to hear. Girl hack is slowly but surely getting back on the feet. This is quite the loading screen they've got going here, disguised as a hyperspace. <laughs> I mean... Ooh, there's an anomaly! What is a space anomaly? I don't know about this space anomaly, you guys. We're never gonna... What if it takes us away from our mission? All right, now back off, back off, back off. Yes, I do remember asking how to get an Atlas Pass. Better check it out. Ah, but if it... Is it going to warp us away? Because we're, we're so close to finding that player-discovered system. We're one, two, three, four warps away. And then we find a system that another player has set eyes on. I don't know, man. This is warp there and come back. That's a lot of warping. All right, let's, first of all, let's do a system scan. Let's find the space station and sell everything we're carrying. Anomaly detected. I know anomaly detected. They are scripted and lead to general upgrades. You sure it doesn't take you, it doesn't it doesn't force you to travel? All right, well, we're gonna go to the space station while we think about this. It just, I don't know, and I heard anomaly for some reason. I assumed it took me.
like a like a wormhole or something. Am I being crazy? We're just gonna cruise into this space station here. Obislut Scop. All right, we'll give it a shot. Oh, I shouldn't look at chat. I hit rocks. No, oh, here's another one. That's eh, okay. <laughs> you get uh, you get stuff for doing it. Let's cruise on around to the other side here. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Anemone. Anem anemone anemone Yeah, you get Thamium from crashing into rocks. It doesn't actually hurt that badly. Anem anemone. 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 My ship got pretty pretty banged up in some combat the other night and it's still looking good and it's fully healed so what upgrades have I made well so this is this is a this is not the starter ship this is the alpha vector and anemone anemone and so it has the hyperdrive, but it's just got the basic hyperdrive, uh, photon cannon, and phase beam. So I think I can build new versions of a lot of this stuff, but I'm waiting to see if I want to maybe buy a new ship. As much as I'm attached to the Alpha Vector and I want to like fly around in my starter ship, because this is the ship I got for pre ordering, as much as I want to just like make it my ship forever, the fact that you can get ships with like 20 slots 30 slots like that is so important it just it drives, drives me crazy when i'm out like finding real good minerals and i gotta end up leaving the planet before i wanted to oh hey oh hey talk to me oh i gotta okay see here's what's all right we gotta sell first Do, 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 do. What do we want to sell? Let's sell our... No, we'll keep our platinum for now. Sell our aluminum. And we'll sell our... No, we'll keep all that. We need that stuff. Although, plutonium... Is that a Viking? I don't know. I should probably learn what they... Since I'm supposedly like such good friends. So I learned never sell your Atlas stone. I didn't want any spoilers as to what it might be for. But I Googled like, should I sell Atlas stone? And then the, like, the first thing was like, no, do not sell it. So I don't. But look at all that emerald. I mean, 109K for that emerald. That is beautiful. And this Corvax casing. Oh, boy. Probably shouldn't have sold that either. But there we go. And then these Gragras or whatever. These are nice and pricey. You find these sometimes. Keep Atlas everything and choose Atlas everything. Yeah, there's three paths through the game, they said, in the patch notes for the day one patch. And it's very clear that the Atlas path is one of them. But if you don't want to do the Atlas path, then you can sell your Atlas stone Yeah, bam, sell that emerald. That is not a dated reference. It's a perfectly viable reference. All right, let's, let's check out this anomaly. I swear to God, you guys. If it takes us away from where we are. Should I be thinking about building more warp cores? How far am I off from building a warp core? I need suspension fluid should buy some suspension fluid while we're here if they sell it did anyone see 
Someone roll back the DVR. See if there's suspension fluid in this market. Anemone. Let's travel to the anemone. Suspension fluid. Get a couple of those. Couple of those. Um, why did that red out? Oh, so inventory full. Wonderful. All right. I only looked at selling, not buying. Well, I looked at buying now, boys. And now I know. Now I know what's going on. So now we got the suspension fluid. Let's stand on the stair. Let's sit on the stoop. Did I only buy one? I only bought one. Oh, no. There's the... No. I only bought one because I was inventory full. Lovely. Well, that's fine. We don't need... Build ourselves a warp cell. There we go. If you missed all that, you can rewind it again. That is the nonsense you have to go through to build yourself a warp cell. And I still haven't found a way. If there's, I don't know if there's a way to make suspension fluid or if you always have to buy it because it's crazy overpriced. Man, I really should have probably sold some of this plutonium, huh? I kind of have way too much of it. Hmm. It's fine. Plenty of room in the starship. Plenty of room in the starship. Oh, no, let's see. There's plenty of stuff that needs... Plenty of stuff that needs plutonium. All right. Let's go check out that anemone. Whoa! Here we come, space anemone. Suspension fluid is a recipe you can learn. See, that's what I gotta learn. But I'm not self-sufficient yet. Come here, space anomaly. Come to daddy. Do a little, do a little mining real quick. Space anemone. Here we come. Oh my goodness. This creepy music that's playing is starting to really freak me out. Whoa. It doesn't look like an anomaly. It looks like a physical structure. Is the door going to open? Space anemone does sound terrifying. How do I... Do I go around to the other side of it, maybe? Maybe. Whoa, here we go. You get me in there. Yes, here we go. I'm glad even the space anomaly has the docking port that spins you around the right way. Never like the phrase interact with the life form. And yet, here we go. Oh boy. Is there a geck in here? Is that what I look like? You stay out of this geck.
Traveler of the Atlas. Ooh, he speaks my language. Route to Galactic Core, reconnect with Atlas for guidance, resources for journey. As I approach the electronic being, it springs to life from its dark mask. Scanning beams emerge that envelop me. Believably explains my language. Offers me a choice. It can show me how to harness black holes in order to embark upon a journey to the center of the galaxy. It can light my way to an atlas interface, and we follow a path, or it will insist me in my own explanation or exploration. I kind of want to find a shortcut to the center. Because I want to get to the center. Is anyone opposed to that? Or should I go resources to aid exploration? And just make my own way? I kind of want to go find, find a shortcut to the center. Because I don't want to do the whole atlas path. I, I, I appreciate the internet is is rallying around the Atlas path, but that means that I'll be able to find video of that. Yeah, they mentioned this in the patch notes for the day one patch that there's three paths. I think I'm gonna go... Hmm. Yeah, the alien locates a black hole. Ooh. Okay. Do I now know where the black hole is? Talk to me, Specialist Polo. I speak my language. Uh, if I met life forms, they have all share my experiences. Yeah, let's do it. It hands me a blueprint. Uh oh. Atlas Pass! Atlas Pass. That's what we want! That's what we need! That is the good stuff! Roll the credits. Atlas Pass received. Alright, later. Later, pancakes. Your destiny lies in the beyond. I'm glad it doesn't use launch thrusters when you're leaving from spaceport. All right, now we have yet another route. So now, oh, now we can route to a black hole. Oh. Whoa. How many systems away from the black hole are we? Quite a few. See, I want to go... I want to continue on to the Malone cluster, though, and then we can route back towards the black hole later. Jump! We won't worry about that system just yet, since we got to come back this way. All right, we proceed onward. Turtle person is too cute. The whole galaxy is littered with turtle people, man. It's it's great. It's it's quite lovely. What if we're a turtle person? Has anyone ever thought about that? What if we're turtle people? You don't know what you look like. Black only called GG. <laughs> I wish I was a turtle person. Oh my goodness, what's that exclamation point? Distress signal? Oh no. You guys. Oh, we're under attack. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. What have we just jumped into? Spoopy thoughts. Let's go to this distress signal. See how we can help out. Please be a small battle. Please be a small battle. Please be a small battle. Oops. All 
All right. If this goes south, we land on the planet like we never even knew it was happening. It appears to be going south already. I'm guessing this is the ship that's under attack. Right, let's close in on it. We need to lead our shots a little bit. There are a lot of ships attacking this damn freighter. How the hell do they think we can help? It totally does look like a Star Destroyer. I don't know who's the bad people. I'm not getting any attack. Maybe I'll cruise up to this distress signal marker and see if it like asks me to help. Oh, oh, it wants me to help attack this thing. Or no, it's just telling me I could help attack this thing. We don't want to do that, necessarily. We don't want to make enemies of the people that are flying that ship. But it doesn't seem to be letting me attack these. All right, I got their attention. <laughs> All right. Let's do a little bit of space maneuver in here. Oh man, come on now. Charge it up. Oh man, this was a bad battle to enter when we don't have <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of ways to recharge our shield. We should not have started this battle. We're going to have to like, crash out of here. I'll at least take out some of these guys. Yeah. We'll have to fight them ship to ship. The space combat is a little tricky, although it does give you that nice little target leader. That's right, goodbye. All right, we gotta get the hell out of here. There's 20 ships remaining. We are not equipped for this. We got to get down to this planet before everything goes wrong. <laughs> I probably could have sided with the pirates. Um, our ship is real small and we have no way to charge the shields. So we need to get the hell out of here. Because there are no oxide elements in space as far as I've come across. Unless it's randomly giving me some. But I don't believe it is. Yeah, it's all famium. It's all like fuel. Let's just pulse drive the fuck out of here. What I should have done is ignored the distress call entirely, since we're just a damn mining ship. We don't have any good weapons on board. All right, this looks like somewhere we can set down and relax for a minute. A 
You did good, kid. Don't get cocky. Well, we add one more ship to our total. Weather. Howling gales. That's not comforting at all. Oh my god, the wind. This is an interesting planet. Let's get inside. Oh man, this is sealed shut. Well, we don't let that kind of thing stop us. Sentinels are gonna be on their way shortly. <laughs> And here they come. Oh, and there's one inside too, which is nice. We're coming inside, so just stop trying to defend this place and just deal with the fact that I'm coming in. It is far too cold out there. Hey, 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 hey. Get the hell out of here. Come out here. Come out here and say it. Doesn't let you pull your gun inside. So if you want to do battle with sentinels, you gotta lure them out. Alright, can we please turn off the alarms? Freighter, starship, drop pod. Uh, let's say starship. Ah, damn it. Mmm, that would have been nice. Well, this is fine. This is fine. Go back outside here. Just taking a look at something real quick. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Off we go. Oh, they drop little... Ooh, they drop big. Bolt caster ammo capacity. Nice. I should really worry about building some of that stuff soon. I was not checking that internet guide. Uh, I was uh, checking my chat. See, wait. Why is Kev now showing as a moderator all of a sudden? He's been a moderator this whole time, but why is it just now showing up? Let's build an Atlas Pass. I need iron to build an atlas pass. I'm guessing that's made of iron. And my channel is now fixed. Wait, wait, why is the temperature rising? Oh God, it's a storm. What the, what is wrong with this planet? Son of a, the hell is wrong with this place? Oh, jeez. Get inside. Ugh. These planets are not predictable in any way. It is a murder planet. Come on. I just want that iron so I can build the Atlas Pass. You're not even supposed to be here. We're supposed to be at that planet we're on our way to. It's a storm.
storm gonna end? Oh, God. I got so many YouTube gaming notifications at once. Holy crap. Alright, well, let's, like, poke through our inventory while we're waiting for Hellscape to subside. Alright. That's pretty good. Should've went through the black hole. Now I'm getting punished. Is it still murdery out here? It is, it is. Go back inside, go back inside. I do like the physics of this universe where it doesn't seem to matter that there's no doors on any of these shelters. They just protect you. Hmm. Anything? Is this an Atlas Pass V2, right? Yeah. We don't have an Atlas Pass V2. We don't even have the schematic for one. What about this other door? It's also V2. Hmm. Basically stuck waiting for it to calm down outside. Yeah, it. <laughs> oh, Jesus, it drops so fast. I was like, maybe we can get a little mining done in the storm. We certainly cannot. Seems like it's lightening up outside. These people just go away and leave their fucking car alarm on. Neighbors are trying to sleep. Is there something I can use to turn off the alarm at least? Wait, I'm not putting ads in. I'm definitely not putting ads in. Uh, I'll turn off monetize with ads. Hopefully that stops that from happening. Um, I mind. For sure. What is wrong with my channel? I have never inserted a mid-roll manually. Dude, how long is this storm going to be? Is it over? Dude, seriously? YouTube red, yeah. I have YouTube red. But, I mean, I wouldn't, it wouldn't affect me anyway. But I don't understand why there would be ads at all. Oh, I'm very upset tonight. Very upset with how broken the channel is tonight. That is a lot of iron. Holy crap. Much worth. Very value. So iron. Now we can build an Atlas Pass. This is our first Atlas Pass ever. <gasps> Suspension fluid! All right, thanks, Chris. Thanks for cruising in. Yeah, something's definitely up. I just saw my preview window restart like a bunch of times. Let me close the live dashboard. Maybe my live dashboard's screwing with it. Thanks for hanging out, man. Let me know if you still keep getting the ads. It shouldn't. It seemed like someone said that that started after I opened my own live dashboard, so I've closed it. Yeah, thanks so much for hanging out. All right, let's get the hell off this planet. It's driving me crazy. Can't get into any of the rooms, There's death storms. We have to keep going. We can't forget our mission.
<laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> There's only so much I can help you with. Must be some kind of glitch in YouTube or something. I know you're just looking for pure, unfettered, no man's sky gameplay. This doesn't count as podcasting. <laughs> Listen, man, if I could get anyone to do this with me, I'll just record an audio version and release it as an MP3. How's it going, man? All right. We continue warping. We can't forget the mission. Two more jumps. Two more jumps and we get there. And then that better be a good damn system because we're going to be out of warp cells. I have the full podcasting setup here now, though. I got, I got this. I got another microphone right here. I got the board. I got it all. Got the whole setup. This is the MP3 on iTunes. <laughs> Yeah, get the audio edition of Mark's Let's Play of No Man's Sky. Oh, this this system already looks like a hellscape. Me too, Kev man. Me too. All right. Do we even bother discovering these planets? No, we gotta we gotta remember our goal. Second mic, but no pals, no height, no spiders. Yeah. Yeah, the equipment only gets you so far. You gotta have someone to actually crack wise with. Do 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 Alright. One more jump. We're going to do this. <gasps> Two more jumps. People are essential for a good podcast. We can go all the way there. Here we go. Here we go. It's happening. We're warping to a system that has been discovered by another player. The Malone Cluster. Here we go. Oh, man. This is exciting. I work with a lot of interesting people. <laughs> I'm not among them, but they are interesting. <laughs> I'll just snag a few of them to be guests on my new Inside YouTube show. My Inside YouTube YouTube show unofficial un or unauthorized unauthorized inside YouTube all right oh man we're gonna drop out of warp into discovered territory the Malone cluster discovered by Jupiter kitten oh man this is the first time I've flown into a system that was discovered by by anyone so why are none of the planets discovered? Are they doing what I was doing and just not landing on them? So the system itself was discovered. But the planets aren't? Wait, what about this planet? Undiscovered. Undiscovered. Interesting. Various interests. Yeah. Like racquetball and Tinder. I know, yeah, someone's gonna do the same thing one day. They're gonna warp into one of those systems I just blasted through to get here and be like, this lazy son of a bitch didn't even land on any of the planets. Watch, this is probably some dude that was doing like some infinite, infinite warp cell exploit. <laughs> it was just blasting through systems without caring. You're not that interested in gaming. 
All right, let's land on this planet. You can discover the system all day. I'll discover the planets. <laughs> that was uh That was me trying to talk about gaming with my ex. My my brand new ex, which sounds weird to say. Alright, what do we got on this planet? Not discovered until you land. Let's land here. Whoa, majestic. Restore point saved. Oh, good. Nuclear planet. Irradiated storms. <laughs> All right, take it easy, Steel. Thanks for hanging out. Endangered resources likely. Environmental protection is essential. Oh, wow. We've got some serious radiation happening. Uh, we're going to need a strategy here. We want that. Oh, my goodness. This planet is hellish. Hellish! That looks like... What is that? Is that a rad stag? All right. You are a rad stag, my friend whether you want to be or not. All right, we're going to conquer this planet with its extreme... Oh, God. Some of this shit is gnarly. Ugh. But there's a lot of minerals on the surface of this planet and animals everywhere. Species 3 of 13 already? I think found. Found. Oh boy, alright, well. We need to. We need a fucking strategy here. Other than just getting in the ship and waiting every 30 seconds. Single dude gaming alone on YouTube? I know, it's shocking. Yeah, it was super recent. Because this time last week she was streaming with me. <laughs> it was Monday. It was Monday. I did not see that coming. Uh, what is this? Carbon. We don't want carbon. We want... got to be a base somewhere. Yeah. Well, let's move closer to... Let's move closer to the resources that we're after since... We want this. We want this thing. So we're going to have to set down right near the shit we want. Because the environment is so hostile. Yeah! Emerald. Okay. Yeah, that's what we want. We want emerald. We want plutonium in there. A little titanium in the old hazard protection. Boy, we need a lot more titanium, though. Oh, shoot. Inventory full. Oh, God! Uh. <sighs> It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> we can't just stand here getting irradiated to death forever. <laughs> you don't guilt them into coming back. Nobody wants that. This isn't pathetic, damn it. I'm creating content. Ain't nothing wrong with a little YouTube gaming. It is what it is. People got to find their own path through life. If I want to... 
you know. Yeah, I mean... People do what they do. Oh my god, now there's a fucking storm? Jesus. <sighs> this planet doesn't want to surrender its emerald. I didn't even get that much. See, this is a this is a bad trade. We gotta get off this planet. It says there's like rare resources here. Oh wait, no, this is the emerald we've been mining. It's actually it's actually doing well. All right, we'll we'll take another shot. We'll take another pass at it once the storm subsides. Well, I don't know that it tells you if the storm's subsiding when you're in your ship. No wonder Malone skipped this place. I know, right? This is terrible, terrible planet. Uh, oh my God, all these YouTube gaming notifications. For real, though. For real, though. <gasps> yeah, I probably wouldn't have come to this place either if I had known. Maybe they got down here and saw it and thought, let's not land. Let's just go ahead and get back in the ship. Classic fucking Malone, bro. I should send him a PSN message and be like, hey, I landed on your stupid planet. Uh, thanks for the heads up. Maybe why don't you name your system a uh, horrible hellscape from which, you know, there is no protection uh, stuck in ship vill a crazy planet full of irradiated monsters and minerals you can't mine because you can't be outside for more than 10 seconds I don't know if there's a character limit on the planet names still storming appears to be <sighs> Is there some suit upgrade I can get? <laughs> I mean, I don't know where the hell I'm going to fit it. Better than Malone. Yeah, if you could leave a but yeah, but then every beacon would be like penis penis penis. Huge member. For a good time, come back here at 1600 Zulu. What do we not need? We need this platinum. Is there anything that I can charge up? Oh, the bolt caster is empty. Penis beacons. Big D's. The biggest D! Hey, there we go. Install technology. What does this do? Increases available energy within users. Life support system. We want something about radiation. Here we go. Oh my god, this is going to be crazy expensive. Oh, and I found a planet that was filled with those gravitino balls. That It was like some super harsh environment. I was constantly under attack by sentinels and like rad storms. And I managed to get like five of these Gravitino balls and I didn't know what they were for and I sold them all and I got a fortune for them. And I clearly should not have done that because I could have built this radiation deflector. Oh man, that's gonna be expensive as shit to build. Microdensity fabric? How much does that cost to make? I can make the microdensity fabric and the electron vapor um, I can't make a gravitino ball though I think I have to find that or I don't have the plans for one uh, okay okay at least we can get out now whoa what is that floating Where's that emerald we were working on? There it is. There it is. Our friggin... This is our lifeblood. This is what brings home the bacon. I really want to make a home base. I don't know where I'm going to put my base, though. 
That's the thing. Like, where do you put it? That's like, you gotta find, like, the perfect planet. You don't want to have some jank-ass base on some terrible world. Like, oh, this is a demon-class planet. Better settle down and start a family. Hey, come on now. Why is this thing resisting my efforts to mine it? Hey. I landed on this stuff. I deserve it. There we go. That is true, and it's also single player, which a lot of people are having trouble with the concept of. I don't know, I'm still digging it. I don't know if I'm gonna get bored of it that quickly. Cause it's just so like, it's just so something to do. It's similar to like, I would jump into Fallout 4 and just like fuck with my settlement for four hours. But I agree, it definitely needs more. They're adding the ability to like own space freighters and the ability to build bases, which will be pretty dope. And then you'll need like, I'm sure you'll need like fat stacks of cash to do that, which means you'll be spending, oh shit. Um, you'll be spending a lot of time Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A lot of time finding horrible planets like this one to mine emerald. All right, let's hop back out. Hop back out! So, this whole find a planet that some other players found turned out to be a bit of a bust since they didn't bother discovering any of the planets in the system. Oh, for the love of God, we, we're getting off of this. Oh my God. I liked Fallout 4, but I put, I put like 120 hours into that game. All right, let's just... Some of these planets are not exactly hospitable. Lots of resources on this planet, but we're not really equipped. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to meet God, bro. I want to be God. Pull strive. I definitely want to get to the center of the universe. We'll take the black hole next. Although we're going to need to spend some stacks of money to get the warp cells necessary to get back on course. Although I guess you can just kind of do whatever you want in this game. There's no course. I do find it weird that you can't buy a ship. You have to, or you can, you, you there's no like dealership. You have to like try and offer to buy someone else's. And so you're just kind of dependent on whichever, whichever one cruises is in classic mark. Traveler, blah, 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 words. Yeah, yeah. How much do you want for your ship? Oh, that's nothing. That's cheap. Whoa, wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. Why is it so cheap? It's got 18 slots compared to ours. Oh, well, now wait a minute. Why is this so, why is this such a good deal? Oh, it doesn't have anything in the hyperdrive.
There's only two more slots than I currently have. But... It's got some upgrades I don't have. Including this warp reactor sigma. But I need to... I need to disassemble... Oh, see, I can't... I can dismantle all this stuff. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, it's going to fly away before I... Uh, uh, okay, let's just do it. I don't know. Is it better? See, I could run over to my ship and disassemble all of the parts on it. So that I... Because otherwise I lose them. But if I do that, it's probably going to... Oh, maybe I can do it from here. All right, so let's... I can. I can disassemble. Here we go. So we disassembled that at least. Can I disassemble the hyperdrive? No. <laughs> All right, so we can at least transfer... Transfer everything to the new ship... Get two additional slots. Mm. I can't take that plutonium with me. Actually, let's let's not take the emerald since it's only eleven thousand worth, and we'll take the plutonium because the plutonium is worth twenty thousand. Yeah, you can manually move cargo, but you don't. You can't move the improvements. They're part of the ship. All right. Boom. We bought his ship. This is our ship now. The Noza, Nozai, Nozai Fusion. Check out Serenity behind the ship. Ah -ha. So now this is no longer our ship. Wave goodbye. Wave goodbye to Hasa. Abandoned ship. So now I could just take it if I wanted. <laughs> hey, what's up, Gar? No, you can't rename ships, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I like this one. This one's way cooler looking than my old one. I do like that my old one is just abandoned now. I know. There she is. Wave goodbye. I guess I should get a little... A little shot of the old and the new. There we go. Oh, rip. Rip. Let's frame that a little better. <laughs> you can't train an exit in space depots. <laughs> Someone's abandoned girlfriend. <laughs> She's just abandoned. You can transfer all of your baggage into her. All right, let's see if we got anything to sell. We got a new ship. It's got more cargo slots, but only by two, and then one of those new cargo slots is taken up by an additional Sigma, Ooh, who are you? Hello, research entity Kehoku. Okay. Abandoning stuff in space. <laughs> you have to sometimes. Ah, uh, we should sell first. I know, that was a lot of money I just spent on that ship, but that's the cheapest one I've seen. Hard to, hard to tell if it's even better than my current one, or my old one. I think it is, because it's got that faster hyperdrive. Can go further in one jump. And making 300,000 is easy if you find a planet with lots of minerals on it. Oh, wow. Wow, I could sell that suspension fluid for a lot of money here. Why is it so highly valued here? But I need it. 
<laughs> Let me my chaps that she was bad at softball. <laughs> See, the problem with trading X's at a space depot is that it necessitates you taking someone else's with you. Uh, we will sell this copper. You don't just get to abandon your current one. Uh, okay. Okay, we're good. Let's talk to homie. What's up, homie? Where'd he go? There he is. He's like, why did you walk all the way around? Is that something your people do? Corvax. The only word I know is Corvax. Startle the electronic life form from its work. It sees my bolt caster starts to vibrate with fear. Quavers a single. It clearly wants to get back to its research work, but it's too terrified to take its gaze away from me. Uh, insist that I come in peace or leave it alone. Uh, it feels kind of forceful to insist I come in peace. Ah, uh, well, we're going to do it anyway. Oh, God. What the... Oh, no. <sighs> well, I'm sorry. Your precious. I don't know why that gave me money. That was rough, man. Space is weird as hell. Are there any of those doors in here that I can use an Atlas Pass on? Oh shit, Atlas Pass V3. Yeah, he was triggered. <laughs> he was reading Twitter. It had nothing to do with me. He was on Twitter. Don't worry about him. He's fine. Man, my old ship's still there. No one's taking it yet. I miss it already. It's time to start a new adventure. With old Red here. Has way more wings on it. That's probably better. Ooh, it's got a different cockpit. Look at that. That is cool. All right. Um, but no hyperdrive or no, oh, it has no launch thrusters stuff either. We need to charge it up. All right. Phase beam laser cooldown times is significantly reduced. Warp reactor. Ah, see, this is beautiful. Not enough wings. I could take it back. I could literally just get into the abandoned ship and and fly away in it and just totally waste the money I spent on this one. I like that it gives you that option for people that just want to live their life the way that, you know, the way that that works. All right. I feel like we didn't sell enough, but I need this stuff. I need to make hyperdrive cell. I need more zinc. Shoot. All right, we got to go looking for... <laughs> oh, I, we did have some good times with that ship. But, you know. It's all for some homeless guy to realize that I left the keys in it. All right, let's claim that system. We don't deserve the right to rename it. <laughs> you just can't get that smell out of your ship, man. Which system are we in now? Ah, see Malone Cluster. Ooh, McTurbo Land is a planet. Oh, wow. We've got to find McTurbo Land and, and land on it. 
So they only discovered one of the planets in their system, and I discovered the other one. Didn't make it to the black hole yet, so let's say... So what should we call the system that we're discovering inside Malone's system? So the other... For reference, the other planet is called McTurbo Face or whatever. McTurbo something. Let's call it, like, Ultra Turbo. Or Ultra... Ultra Malone. <laughs> So now, if they, you know, I want it to sound enticing so that people land on it thinking it's going to just be a great, a great time. So does that mean I can, I can look at McTurbo Land because it's been discovered? Oh, I can. And they named their only waypoint Lettuce Finger. And they didn't upload any of their discoveries. Oh, wait, I discovered those. Wait, was I on McTurbo Land? I don't recall going to McTurbo Land. Hmm. Super Happy Land. Ultra Malone. So I was just at Ultra Malone. Let's find McTurbo Land. Dude, this system has a lot of planets in it. Dude, where's McTurbo Land? We have to find it. Oh my gosh. It's fine, it's fine. Is that McTurbo Land? Ugh! I mean, it's not like we moved very far. Maybe it's on the other side of Ultra Malone. We better warp to the other side. Oh boy. Oh great. Ah, fucking Malone cluster. All right. Let's see if this new ship can fight. You know, if you're looking for valuable <laughs> it's just dinosaurs that hate you. <laughs> Fucking die, douche. Alright, well, at least the new ship has, like, cool red alert sounds. Do I have anything I can put in the deflector system? Oh, I do. I have plenty of iron. Alright. Let's defend our little ship here. There we go. Ooh. All right. We did it. We did it, everybody. And for some reason, the Corvax really dug it. Journey milestone accomplished. God, that feels so good. Destroy 10 starships. Why does it make me a nuisance? Hey, what is this? What did I just get? Ooh, emerald. Oh, they must have been carrying emerald. Um, we're still looking for McTurbo Land. <laughs> Haven't been able to stumble onto it yet. Ultra Malone. Yeah, I don't know if anyone knows how to use this system map. Maybe let's scan. Abandoned building detected. Feels like something I don't give a shit about. 
let's... Rare technology available. Stop tantalizing me. I'm not going back down to freaking Ultra Malone. <laughs> it's the worst planet ever. <laughs> Let's warp towards this planet and see if we see more planets. It's the rarest thing in the game. I think the rarest thing in the game is another player, and the chances of that being down there are very, very slim. Ah, <laughs> true love, where you always expect to find it in an abandoned building on planet Ultra Malone. All right, drop out of warp. Let's see if we can see more planets from back here. Ultra Malone. Not seeing much. Hmm. See three planets over here. That one, that one. I don't. <laughs> Super Ultra Malone. Yeah, I mean. We might have to just visit another one of these because I cannot find for the life of me. I just keep assuming that, like... Wouldn't it be somewhat near the space station? These systems have all seemed pretty centralized. All right, let's just go to Lufentlicit. I mean, we got to finish the naming scheme. I do hope that the person who discovered this planet originally can then go back through their atlas and see that I've been in here just going wild with my naming I think they can only five in this system is that true it doesn't tell you Discovered by Jupiter Kitten. We gotta find Lettuce Finger. Oh, the reason... Mm. Something's glitchy here. Maybe McTurboland exists in all of our hearts. The legend of McTurbo Land. All right, what fucking nightmare am I going to find waiting for me on this planet? Ugh, rough landing. Contaminated planet. Beautiful. But we found a monolith, at least. And the Corvax word for please, please don't come to this planet. You're the Corvax please and hi. Floating tetrahedrons emerge from the... Raise my multi-tool and they shimmer blue closer and closer. They're within touching distance of my multi-tool. Let the tetrahedrons in. Oh yeah. New technology blueprint. Yeah, this word for witness. Ooh. Ooh, nice. All right. So much technology we could potentially build. 
Anything cool around? This planet doesn't seem to be too bad so far. Basically, I'm learning... If any aliens want to, like, penetrate your suit, just let them... <gasps> Dinosaurs! But do they hate me? No? Temperament passive. Diet herbivore. Lovely. Lovely. What can I make? Yeah, their UI is borrowed from a lot of things. Beam focus sigma. Uh, recall stabilizer. I need chrysonite. I've only ever seen chrysonite on like one planet. Oh man, there's a lot of minerals that I don't really ever come across. Where's this abandoned? Oh, it's on the end. Oh, so I can see all the planets from here. Has anyone on this planet ever been to a planet called McTurbo Face? I'm asking for a friend. I'm supposed to meet a date at this bar in the capital city of McTurbo Face by seeing Chris tonight. Which Chris? Chris whom? I know many Chris's. Who's asking? What is this thing? Oh man, there's little bases all over this planet. Witch Crossing. Well, we're renaming that to Witch Crossing for sure. Go in the water. Whoa. I don't know. Some pretty gnarly stuff is happening to me in water on some of these planets. Oh, I don't want to do that. My starship's already here. This is this is not a bad planet. I am okay with this planet so far. It's not killing me. There's no murderous superstorms. All right, we'll go in the water. I didn't even see the water, but we'll go in the water. Is there like a computer thing in here? Yeah, here it is. Let's not screw this up. I'm in a distress call. 126, 24, 120, 180. Nope. Probably should have put more thought into that. Where's water? I didn't even see water. Where is water? Let's check from the skies. Ooh, there's water, yeah. Yeah, we can go in the water. Put down over by this, this thing. Yeah, this planet is okay. Let's look for space sharks. Uh, we need to discover this real quick. Real quick. Come to me. All right, water time. Here we go. Going into the drink. As soon as we finish catching our breath. And we're going in.
Here we go. Wait, let's let's check from up here first. We're just leaping into some fucking kill box. I see nothing. Oh, good. Well, this was a huge mistake. <sighs> Is my jetpack going to get me back up? Nope. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ugh. God damn it. <sighs> Let's not... Uh... <sighs> Fuck this planet. God damn it. Why does every planet have to have something wrong with it? We gotta start mining some resources, though. <laughs> I've made a huge mistake. We need resources, because we can't just keep launching our ship all willy-nilly. Excuse me. All right. Oh, this stuff is gross. Does the planet get points off for being gross? We need something other than iron. Oh, hey, whoa, hey, hey, hey. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. It's just weirdo plant monster things. It's gonna be okay, bro. Why does it seem like no planet I land on? No <laughs> planet you just murdered. Hey! <laughs> I have to murder these plants! I need resources! Except that everywhere I land, it seems like there aren't any resources around. I take off, burn more launch thruster fuel. Just keep scanning. I can't even imagine what it must have been like to play this game when you couldn't scan from the air. What is that down there? That's nothing. We don't care about that. Keep scanning. We're looking for, like, plutonium and stuff. The bummer is you can't fly close to the ground. It... I'm pushing down as hard as I can on the stick, and it just locks you... Whoops. It's not here. It just locks you to that elevation. Which I'm sure there's some perfectly good story reason for. Gold! There's gold in them there hills. Well, look who just made their trip all the worthwhile. Hunting for space titties. Let me at them. All right, so we're going to mine this gold. And we're going to... We're gonna call it for the night. We can't find McTurbo Face. Our pl our planet of choice. So in the absence of that, we're just gonna have to say we give up. <laughs> it's the most horrifying creature you've ever seen. I'm really glad there's no sort of copulation 
in this game. I don't need procedurally generated female bodies or male bodies. Oh, you you take the bra off. Oh, it's just eyes. It's just more eyes. It keeps its eyes under there because that's very sensitive to light. Uh, so that's why it keeps them covered like that. Very upsetting. I probably shouldn't mind the gold I'm standing on. But then you get to have procedurally generated children, which seems interesting. Kind of wouldn't mind seeing that. This is a good planet, you guys. This is a good planet. That radiation is, is not as bad as they made it seem like it would be. <laughs> so you have to take risks, though. I'm guessing the planets that have the more dangerous environments probably have, like, better rewards. Or, I don't know. It's all generated. Maybe the algorithm doesn't care about such things. And Well... Remind me not to speak. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> I'm literally standing on gold. I got time before the storm takes me. Get as much gold as you can, boys, before the hit, before the storm takes us all. <laughs> There's gold right beneath our feet, boys. Move the ship. More, more, more. More! Okay, 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 okay. Get inside, get inside. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Look at all that gold. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah! Oh, it's worth 36 grand. I didn't even, I didn't even get a full bushel. What do I need? I need uh, zinc. Zinc's what I can't find. <laughs> gold space sandals. Uh, that's a good planet. Real good. Alright, so we got McTurboland, Ultra Malone. We'll call this... Super... Ultra Gold. Yeah, that's good. That's real good. I feel like we're doing Jupiter Kitten proud. Gotta find McTurbo Land. I don't understand. Why can't we find it? Whoa. Wow. That launched me really fast. I don't understand how that just happened. Scan for McTurbo Land. Trading post detected. Where? Where is this trading post? No, oh, we don't want to go back down there. Palm Olive. Ultra Malone. Hmm. Pulse drive. We're going to pulse drive right past Rubik's Cube or whatever. Yes, they could get it voiced by Peter Dinklage. They could reuse all of the unused audio footage from when they pulled him out of Destiny. that line about the moon 
That's the one we want. That's the line. This is where I start watching the arrives in time. <laughs> the arrives in time versus my fuel remaining. Oh, I love Dinklebot. <laughs> but would you get it for PS4 or PC? I was a little disappointed to learn that I have zero chance of ever... That wizard came from the moon. That's the line. Hey, what's up, Riccatoni? I see. I did the same thing with Destiny. Actually, I bought it and never played it. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm nervous. Oh. Oh, God. What? That is an unfortunate bug. Is there something I can do? <laughs> I mean, does it just kind of fix itself? Okay, well, I mean, <laughs> these things happen. Oh. Every 30 seconds or so. Yeah, I, uh, some, there's some stuff going on. So we'll probably, we'll wrap up the stream here in a minute. <laughs> We've had a good run. Uh, we'll land on... We'll land on this planet up here, and then we'll call it a night. I think we're out of think we're out of pulse engine fuel. Oh no, we've got the fuel. We just yeah. So we'll we'll engage pulse drive and just point ourselves at this planet here. This looks like it might be not a bad planet. Not a bad planet. Let's name it. Hurry up and name it here. Oh, I have. Oh, I haven't landed on it yet. I can't name it. Oh no. This planet's looking weirder and weirder the closer we get to the surface. It could be lush, although it could be a radioactive hellscape. Landing area not clear. Weather, monsoon. Hey! Rain that doesn't kill you. It's just super duper rainy. That's real nice. I like that. Oh, this planet's great. This planet's so good. All right, now let's name it. Uh, no, we don't want to do super again. Mega. Uh, we'll call it Mega Dinkbot. Units 
There we go. Got the Malone Cluster, McTurboland, the Anonymous McTurboland, Ultra Malone, Super Ultra Gold, and Mega Dink Pot. Jump in water without scanning. Well, hey, there's nothing... Nothing saying the water here is safe just because the planet's not trying to kill me. It could be perfectly perfectly delightful water that's filled with some kind of killer bacteria. Oh. Wow. That's poop water. Look at this. We need one of those Jedi rebreathers, though. But I can't really stand. I found a planet that was all water with like tiny little pieces of land that I could put my ship down on. Um, but I couldn't get to any of the bases because they were all underwater and I couldn't breathe. There must be something you can get that like increases your breathing capacity underwater. Wow, this planet's great. I can't I can't go further out, I'll die. Oh man. Mega Dinkbot. You the best world we've we've seen all stream. Let's find a let's find a POI. Oh, great. We're out of launch thrust. Look at this little... Look at this! This planet is amazing! Oh, look at this! It's like a little farmhouse. Alright, quick. What's a... What's like a, a Destiny-themed thing we could call this... Since we called it Mega Dinkbot, we should call the first waypoint something Destiny themed. But I don't, I've never played. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would discover again. This planet could be base worthy, absolutely. The Vanguard, all right. Boom. Dying sad and alone. Yeah, manual landings would be pretty cool. I would love if they would enable that. Uh, we'll name... Uh, we'll name those later. This is lovely. Nothing has attempted to hurt me yet. It's refreshing... Check stock transfer. It's just giving me money. Wait, why 666 units? Well, well, well I don't like that. Also, at what point did I start? Did I become like a stock trader? The Vanguard. Check this thing. Yeah, it's a total trap. We need a bypass chip. Oh, we can't. Oh, yeah, we can. Wolf Wall Street bot. All right. Let's look for a monolith. We love monoliths. We're big fans of ancient alien artifacts. It's all we want. And there's one three minutes away. Look at that. Probably a waste of a bypass chip. <laughs> oh, no. No. My perfect planet. No. Oh, it turns into a freaking ice storm. 
Uh oh. We're out of fuel, boys. I forgot we can't leave this system because we don't have any we don't have any warp warp cores. Oh my god, we could have seen the monolith if we had just stood on the roof of the farmhouse. Whatever. Bypass chips aren't all that hard to build. A storm of hugs and kisses. Even the storm's not that bad, to be honest. Learned 30 words. Nice. Learned the Corvax word for scared. That's good, because I feel that may actually come in handy. It should be one of those. I guess there isn't. Or maybe it's up here. Whoa, here it is. <laughs> Room temperature rate. I ache for a past I cannot remember. Every inch of my soul wants to make the leap back. Can I truly abandon my journey when it's only just begun? Hmm. I feel like I should resist temptation. I, I should step back into the past? Do it? I don't know. I'm looking for a second opinion on this one. Resist temptation. Yeah, I feel like you gotta resist. Seeing your dead family. <laughs> this is tough. This is really tough. Uh, yeah. Let's... Let's do it. We're stepping back. Oh. Well, that was anticlimactic. Oh, and he gives me max health. Oh, and a word. Lovely. <sighs> Brutal. Let's get in out of the storm here. Uh, I guess that doesn't really... So it's negative 102 degrees Celsius. <laughs> I did F up. And now I'm just standing here in the freezing cold. Where's my damn ship? planet's turning on me now. That sentinel's just waiting for my ass to get back out. These monoliths want you to just show ultimate restraint. Alright, we need to gas up the old breather. Alright. It's a good planet. Real good. Why is this thing still showing me the monolith icon? Is there something else over here? There's nothing else over here. Stop showing me that icon. Get back in your ship. Get back on the 405 and go back to the valley where you belong. Man, these trees. God, this world is gorgeous. Question mark. All right, this is our last question mark. And then we're then we're done. It's 
All right. Discovered now. Last question mark. Hashtag last question mark. Yes. Suit upgrade time. Oh, yes. God, these things are getting pricey. Solve pie. I can't do any of those, sadly. Not sure how I passed my Google interview without the ladder. All right. Wow, this is... Look at this thing. What is this? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I landed on the little landing platform. <gasps> this is so cool. And there's other ships here. <gasps> Wow. This is dope. What is this place? There's people here. This is like a starport. <gasps> a trade terminal. Wow, this is sweet. This planet has everything. You don't even have to go off world to sell. Wow. Oh, man. Haven't seen any animals. Let's talk to Mr. Corvax here. Okay, so I know the word Corvax. Uh, we'll shake his hand. There we go. So it cost me a health, but I got a stamina enhancement system that I can build right now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Stamina enhancement. Boom. Thank you, Corvax. Man. This place is legit. Wait. Wait, it's not legit anymore. Yeah, the handshake, he's a robot, or they're like sort of robotic. And he was overloading. And so by shaking his hand, it cost me one uh, one health. But he appreciated that I helped him, so then he gave me that blueprint. And then there's a health restorative right there. Has anyone looked into why chain pizza is getting so much worse? Although I do like Little Caesars. I'm a huge fan of Little Caesars. I almost got it tonight, but it wouldn't have gotten here in time for me to do the old stream. Yeah, I should use the vents. Do do do. Yeah, <laughs> I do like Little Caesars. Huge fan, huge fan of the Detroit style. My ex was from Detroit, and she liked the Detroit style Little Pizza, uh, Little Caesars pizza. So I feel like it's legit. Is the storm ever gonna pass? All right, well, we don't need to be here anyway. We can we can go into orbit. This place is great, though. Is there any way to, like, mark this on my map so that I can't get back here? Uh, 
I guess not, since there's no map. Hmm. I almost don't want to leave this spot, but I mean, we gotta. <laughs> why in is a fave in the YouTube office? <laughs> I don't know why. Although maybe we had some people shuffle out of the team lately, so maybe maybe the love of Hawaiian pizza has died with them. One can only hope. Let's look for some minerals to farm. Oh, great planet. Great planet. <gasps> we have to name a pizza Pizza Planet. What are we doing? We're crazy if we don't name one Pizza Planet. What is this? Ah. All right, let's head up into orbit. Let's go find Pizza Planet. There it is. Ultra Malone, Super Ultra Gold. The planet we just left. Black olive and pineapple. What's going on? Guys, you're talking crazy over there. Alright, we don't want to go to Ultra Malone. Let's go to this one. Engage pulse drive! Alright. Here comes Pizza Planet. All right. Well, we should we should actually let's <laughs> let's table Pizza Planet for now. It's getting late. I gotta get some sleep at some point in my life. Hopefully tonight will be the night. Uh, we'll be back. Probably. Oh, I know. That planet's still out there somewhere. We never found it. McTurbo Land, still out there. Can't find it. We know it's got lettuce finger on it. Maybe we'll look for it next time. Uh, as we as we warp to Pam, Pam, Palm Olive or whatever the hell the name of this planet is, uh, we'll say we'll be back next Wednesday. Might sneak in a Sunday stream, although maybe not. Probably not because I think I got my family in town. So most likely next Wednesday, we'll be back either with No Man's Sky. <laughs> Either with No Man's Sky or something else. 30 minutes from now, Mark crying on the bathroom floor. Yeah, you know what? I'll take crying on the bathroom floor as long as it ends with sleep. Sleep is sleep is critical. Don't don't get nearly enough of that these days. But oh, thank you guys so much. Yeah, family's in town. Family's in town this week. Unfortunately, no, it's fortunate. I love my family. <laughs> I'll say hi to your mom or my mom for you. She she knows she knows of the Giovanni. Yeah, so I'll get to do all kinds of uh, cool touristy stuff with the fam. It should be exciting. And yeah, thanks everybody for for tuning in. Had a little fun in No Man's Sky. We found a system that was discovered by another human which is not something I had done before. So very exciting stuff. And until next time, thank you all so much for cruising in. And <laughs> thanks, Kev. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>